Hello everyone. I wanted to just uh, show you what I'm doing, and I've almost gotten to the point where the voxel objects are ready to go into the game world, or at least into the game object editor. Um, so you can now load and save voxel objects and palettes, and in this case they come in packs, because each voxel object is like 100 bytes, and you'll never see one on its own. It's always going to be combined with other ones. So I've got a test pack here, and if I open it up, the first object in the test pack is spawned, and that's this thing. Uh, I can also change which one, and of course I can create new ones and save them and so on and so forth. But this looks kind of weird. I mean, this isn't something that you'd expect to actually see in a game, uh, and that's just because the palette is wrong. I'm not currently auto-loading palettes, but I can. However, for now, I'll manually load the palette. And you can see that now it looks like maybe some kind of short industrial cable of some kind. And uh, and in the game world or in the game object editor, you'll be able to twist that, so it won't be a straight cord. It'll be something that bends as you want it to. And if we load up the first one, you can see it's something more like a circuit component. Uh, now the transparent blocks don't show up in the other editing modes; they only show up here. So that would look something you know you'd, you'd be viewing it. Uh, sorry if you can see that certain key combinations cause this to to go a little crazy. Anyhow. Um, you'd be seeing it from like this distance or, or so. You, it's, it's, it's a very small object. Anyhow, uh, now I can save and load palettes and game ob and uh, voxel objects, and that means that the next thing to do is to have it so that you can load them into the game world or the game world editor. That may take me a little bit of time, but it shouldn't be too, dif too difficult. So uh, mm, hopefully sometime this week I'll be ready to show off combining voxel objects, scaling them, uh, rotating them and editing their spines. That'll be neat. I hope.